Yo, Adam and Yan here. You know, I'm a millennial, born at the turn of the century. So I never got to see the veritable plethora of slasher films rumbling on through the 90s. In fact, I never saw a hint of it. Because I confess, I was a frightened little kitten unable to watch the barest slice of horror without devolving into nightmares. Let's say a lot has changed since then, but not my dislike of slasher films. Because I do like violence in video games, but violence with purpose. Violence for the sake of violence is not really what I'm into. So I'm going to save your eyes by and not put in any movie footage from Nightmare on Elm Street because you know eyes. They're good seeing things with. But you know what, with October 31st, Halloween coming up, I think I'll take a stab at today's subject matter, or say 10, with my bladed gloves, because we're covering the new release of Freddy Krueger to daylight, Dead by Daylight as a playable killer. Oh, and also, I may have lied about my next video being about anime, but because I'm in such rush to put this video up before Thursday, uh, when the new character is released, I hope you'll forgive me. So first off though, I want to cover the legitimacy of these claims and rumours that Freddy Krueger is being released on Thursday. So first off, it wouldn't be strange to think that Dead by Daylight is releasing Freddy Krueger as a playable character, especially when they have already released two killers from licensed slasher franchises, most notably Leatherface from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, series and The Shape from the Halloween series. So what do we have currently? What we do have is this official trailer, right here, straight from the Dead by Daylight YouTube channel. So we can be pretty sure that this is true. So if that wasn't enough for you, his voice files have supposedly been leaked and I have listened to these and they seem pretty legit to me. However, just to mention some things that you may not have realised in this official trailer, let's do some quick analysis. This trailer features the iconic setting of Freddy Krueger's boiler room or nightmare factory as shown by the presence of metal pipes in the background. A little history, Freddy Krueger worked at a chemical plant in Springwood, Ohio as a janitor and used the plant's boiler room as the location where he would kill the children of Elm Street. He too was doused in gasoline and killed by the parents of the children in revenge. However, he was given power by dream demons to haunt the dreams of children. So if you don't know his power, a quick update. Not only can he appear in the dreams of people, but if he kills them in the dream, or hurts them in any way in the dream, that same injury is inflicted to them in real life. However, his power is given to him through fear. And if you don't believe in him or fear him, he can't hurt you. But if you're afraid of him, he becomes extremely powerful. So this explains why he is invisible in the trailer. Because he is invisible, at least to those who are awake. However, can still affect the real world by scratching in the Dead by Daylight logo inside the metal on top of the metal pipes. Moreover, the most telling phrase is the last phrase uh, in the trailer, which is don't fall asleep, because Freddy, Freddy Krueger can only affect those who are dreaming. Now, we've covered all the basics, so I want to do a little speculation on the abilities and weapons he's using, or he will use. So far, so, so far we have on Freddy Krueger him being called the Sandman, using his signature clawed glove and an ability called the Dream Dream Master for his loadout. I think it was already a given that he would use his signature clawed glove as a weapon. But what about his ability, Dream Master? Now let's list all the current abilities or secondary weapons wielded by the current killers so we can guess by a process of elimination. So we'll boil down every killer into a fundamental concept which makes them so distinctly terrifying. The trapper is all about impeding the survivor's movements. The hillbilly is all about speeding up the killer. The nurse is about the killer's movement. The shapes. Evil Within is about leveling up the killer in stages. The hag is about movement in 
and Illusions, The Doctor is about finding positions of survivors, The Huntress is about range, and The Cannibal is about going into an enraged state for a short boost. What I think we're missing here is some kind of direct damage. And yes, you could argue that The Trapper is about that. But I'd say that the damage isn't so much significant as the slowing down of the survivors and stalling the game overall. So they are forced to rescue someone or literally stopping them dead in their tracks. What I think Dream Master will do is constant damage, which if untreated by other survivors, will progress in stages as the survivor gradually grows more tired until they reach a certain amount of time after being cast on by Freddy until they act like instantly die as Freddy comes to get them. The only way to cure this, I think, would be someone else calling for the other person to wake up and thus be a form of healing which would make a nurse's calling that much more overpowered. But I mean, the doctor kind of boosted the power of the perk anyway, so yeah, whatever. Okay, and as you know, each DLC usually comes with a new map and a new survivor. So my guess for the survivor is Nancy Thompson, as she is a key protagonist in the movie and is killed by Freddy in Nightmare on Elm Street 3. This goes along with the theory that Dead by Daylight is in fact the afterlife, and literally hell tormenting the survivors endlessly, which I will eventually get around to explaining in another video. As for the map, I speculate that it will be the Nightmare version of 1428 Elm Street, connecting to the Boiler Room slash Nightmare Factory because of the fact that it was featured in the trailer, but also that his home is an iconic location in the films. But yeah, I guess that's it for now. I promise, I promise, I promise that the next episode will be anime. I've even got the video planned out, so we're going to be looking at it, uh, at Pingu. If Pingu the in the city is an anime. Thanks, and anime yen.